I saw a tweet that was funny as hell to me that said <laughs> Saucy Santana is the only rapper left in Atlanta right now. <laughs> yeah, that's what it looks like, though. Like, they Cause, literally cause, uh, cleaning the house Yeah, because right uh, Lil Baby and his group is about to go under mm-hmm. uh, similar, a similar thing there, yeah. A, a Rico thing? Yeah, the details haven't been spread out, but that's just like, you know, yeah. Wow. It's, it's crazy, though, especially like, contrary to most people's belief, Doug is one of my favorite artists out here. Like, the man is fire. He, he does great work out here. So it's just like, it's frustrating to know that, like, granted, they I think they said they've been watching them from like 2013 or something, but um, eventually you got to get out of that. You have to, like, you can't forget home, but you got to get away from home in a sense. Like, stop putting money into it. Stop hanging around there. We got a lot of our artists that does that. And we're just like, we would love for y'all to stop the, like, all the gang banging and back and forth because the city together can look more like Atlanta last week. Not this week. This week, Atlanta's not looking too good. But Atlanta's one of the best hip-hop cities in the U.S. because they stick together. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I... You hear this and you're just like, why? Like, you you know, you, you have this music career going on. You're really good at it. And, again, you don't really know at this point the backstory. Like, in truth, this could be a bunch of things that maybe were done or, or started several years ago. Mm-hmm. And, and and maybe he's, you know, not quite as involved in things that, that, are ha- that he's getting charged with now. Um I don't know, but it's it's just shocking to hear, like, what's going on, you know? And initially, though, like, you're wondering, you know, is he being targeted by law enforcement or whatever, or are these crimes truly being committed? Um, that's a question I ask. I mean, hopefully time will tell us when information's there. Uh, but RICO charges are super serious. This, mm-hmm. is a, this is a type of charge that was really originated to combat the mafia. And, and when you're you're tying people together in in ways where it's not just a trigger man who does something. And, and that was one of the great defenses that the mafia and other organized crime had years ago is that, you know, well, I went out and shot somebody, come get me, but, you know, you can't go up the food chain. There's just not enough proof. Mm-hmm. It's just suspicion, speculation, loose things, and it's not enough to convict somebody in court. But with RICO, they've they've created a statute and, and laws that, that are make it a lot easier to connect multiple people to a singular trigger man or, or a, a, a singular offense. And uh, that's why, you know, 27, 28 people in this, this indictment. Um, you know, and again, that's why I wonder too, like, like, what is the level of involvement um, and and how recent is it? And is it something that like, you know, um, you know, when the proof comes out on this, maybe it doesn't go all the way to them. Maybe it stops short of them in some way. I, I, I don't know, but it's 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 shocking and it's just very unfortunate. Yeah. Um, yeah. My thing is, it's it's just it's yes, yeah, it's, it's just fucking ridiculous. Right. Because even if it comes short of them. But if they prove that it is, they do have the right gang, if you will, mm-hmm. YSL, these guys, like, that's all they talk about is YSL yeah. gang. So if as long as I, and I'm, like, pretty sure that these guys, the, the police or whatever, you know, doing the investigation, I'm pretty sure they have enough proof to know what YSL gang is doing, mm-hmm. regardless of who's in it, right? Yeah. And if so... You you are attached to something. They one thousand percent know what the YSL gang. I'm talking about Young Thug and Gunner. They one thousand percent know what YSL gang is doing. You're promoting something. <laughs> you know what I mean. That's out actively doing. You know what I mean. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Crime, organized crime. Yeah, you, it, so, at that so, point, you can't distance yourself from it. Yeah, you can't you distance know, yourself if, from if it. If you're you know, actively supporting them in your songs and everything else. Right, which they have pulled mm-hmm. in the courtroom. Yeah, from, from yeah. What they said. And, and then, it, then you really lose the ability to sit in court at some point and say, I, I don't know what this is about. Yeah. Uh, um, um, you know, they got it tatted all on them. Yeah. It's all in their music. It's, it's just really tough. And then, you know, and a lot of rappers, they do have what I call funny money. You know what I'm saying? They look like they got it. They renting the cars and the mm-hmm. videos. They got the, you know, the jury and stuff like that. But they really don't have money. That's not Young Thug and Gunner. They yeah, re- nah. they have real rap money. You mm-hmm. know, like they do not have to continue in you know organized crime, if you will. Like you know what I'm saying? They just that's just something they do not have to do mm-hmm. uh, uh, to get to get money. 
Uh, so yeah, if that if that's what they're doing, then you know that's that's it's just crazy. I don't know why, you know. I and, and I guess it could be something. Maybe that's just another addiction because it's not only rappers. I mean, it's normal guys from the neighborhood like this just cannot stop doing that stuff. Mm-hmm. And it's like you know you know maybe that's an addiction as well. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that makes some sense. Yeah. yeah so yeah. I was gonna say it doesn't help that uh, when you listen to interviews with other Atlanta rappers, yeah. they'll always say like, "Oh, Young Thug is really they like really that. like that. They like, really do that." <laughs> so it's like you <laughs> all love them too. them. Like it's never been one that said never. Young Thug ain't about that for real. Never. And, and, and in the era where guys run to say that, mm-hmm. <laughs> like they live to say a guy's not Young really Thug about that. One. Well, you like you, y'all say he wear them dresses all y'all want, but he really yeah, he, he really <laughs> about that. You them, like that. <laughs> I mean, it's in, you, you, you refer to it as an addiction, though. Yeah. But, but in that way, it, it could really be – an addiction is probably a fair word, but, but a psychological connection mm-hmm. to, to their, their own brand and their own identity. Mm, and and yeah. it, like like most people, when you say, "Oh, you're really like that," like they take pride in being exactly. whatever it is, mm-hmm. like the neighborhood, like they're invested like in that. that. Mm-hmm. And, and you know, and that's kind of another Damn, psychological another level one. where yeah. it kind of gets to like this addiction point. And and maybe you periodically feel that you need to continue to prove that, yeah, that mm-hmm. you're that guy or that you're like that. I mean, it's you know. It's probably not the best way to go about things. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't help that they went, yeah. I guess, today and found all the guns and drugs in Thug's crib. So yeah, they're yeah. just gonna keep patting it until they can really say like, no, there's nothing you can do about this at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sawed offs and silencers. They're like, you, you're not a Navy SEAL guy. That's what they're gonna look at it as. Like, what are you doing at this point? And, and I do like like a RICO investigation. It it, it, it is different than mm-hmm. than like a, a an isolated crime investigation. Um, be, be, they are going to take it more seriously. Mm-hmm. They're going, you know, you're going to get the upper tier of prosecutor and and uh, and and investigative staff working this stuff. Um, so yeah, I mean, the, the likelihood that you're, you know, just going to have some, you know, s- what's that guy in the OJ case, the 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 stupid cop that that. Oh yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Like I don't remember that guy's name. name yeah. was. You're mm-hmm. not going to have that guy involved. No, no, yeah, no. It, it's no. going to be the best people be... they have, oh, you yeah. know, pursuing this. You know the people that you see on TV on your crime shows and stuff, they don't <laughs> the Sherlock Holmes of the world. Yeah, and all that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's what I said. I, we talked about this earlier. And I was like, man, these, yeah, the, the whoever that is investigating, I'm sure like they gathered enough information mm-hmm. to damn near be able to just smack them right now. You know, if they're going to grab somebody as big as Young Thug and Gunner, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you're not just going to the first little small bit of information that you have and, yeah. and go grab them like that uh, because it's going to be hard to make it stick to, to celebrities like that. Which sure. is crazy to think. Like, I I was talking to my, my team, uh, Can We Talk Music, earlier, and we were talking about it, and it was brought up that they were like, yeah, we know there are 50 dead bodies connected to YSL. Why wouldn't you go after like the third body? Like, why are you still waiting for forty-seven <laughs> more bodies to drop before you say, "I think it's those guys"? They trying, like, to, yeah. they trying to rack up the years, man. Well, I, I do. I mean, again, I, I I don't know for certain, but I feel like when when you are pursuing the RICO action, they they want to just like stack the deck in their favor as much as possible. Oh yeah, for sure. You know, and, and so really get plan. as many mm-hmm. people as they can and get as deep as they can. Like I said, this yeah. all, this was almost a decade in the works already. They said so. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. Like you know, it's a lot of fans. I saw one of my homegirls today. She's like, she's really sad about this. I was like, I mean, you might be <laughs> depressed in a little bit because this is a tough case to get out of right now. Well, we we actually had a local case like that here in Orlando. Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 you know, uh, quite a few years ago with uh, one of our biggest artists, Armstrong, mm-hmm. and they caught they caught him with the Rico case, and it was Operation Armstrong. That was the name mm-hmm. of it. It's just hard to get. It's hard. And it has so much information and stuff around it. And similar to Young Thug, like everyone just, if you talk to anyone that actually had ties to the streets, like, yo, Armstrong is really about that. I know he clowns a lot. He may, you know, joke a lot. This is that. But he's really like, you know what I mean? So it's one of those similar situations. And they just start stacking up, stacking up, stacking up and all this information. Now, the way he eventually got out of it, he served a little time, but you know the you know the word is he snitched mm-hmm. on some other people. That's just the, you know what they say happened, and he's out now. But so if Young Thug and Gunner, if that comes down to that, it'll be interesting to see if they're home in a year or two. 
and what Man. those rumors will start being like and how will it affect their career because it destroyed Armstrong's career. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It destroyed the, the snitching Especially allegations. Especially when you're on that street level. It. Yeah. That's immediately going to take you out the game. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And the other thing is, too, like, presumably, like, because of their, their celebrity, they're the big fish in the scenario. Oh, yeah, the big fish. And so it's hard. I mean, who are you going to turn over on? Like, we want you. You know? a, yeah, no, I mean, no, 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 no. They'll, yeah, yeah no. Yeah. You give up more, they'll, yeah. they'll yeah, I mean, lessen your but time. I, yeah, I mean, it, it could be a tougher sell. They round up, what, I see what 28 you're saying, people? Though. Yeah. yeah. If they say those 26 people. You know what I'm saying? They might just go around. Well, yeah, they got yeah. enough. Just change your ways. <laughs> like, That's what I'm saying. You know, a couple million dollars and 26 man, people look. that'll get 20 years in prison, nah, they might do man, that, man. That's, That's a lot of labor in jail, man. It could be. <laughs> <laughs>